I'm Brent Taylor. I'm a partner with TimeWise Event Management based in Edmonton, Alberta. We're a conference and corporate event management firm. We've been uh, in business since uh, 1999. We also uh, operate Event Technology Solutions, which is a audiovisual company that works regionally within Alberta. And we've been operating that company since 2011. There's so much technology out there now, and engagement seems to be the key word these days. Or, you know, you're, well, there's another word too, innovation, engagement. Um, when it comes to the events industry, in engagement's huge. Everybody's talking about engagement and how do you engage people and get them, or get them better engaged. And some people choose to do that through innovation, so they're trying to innovate with their events. And whether that's through technology or just through design of the event, um, it could be anything from seating to, to um, uh, right up to the technology side where, uh, you know, apps are pretty much commonplace with events of a, a larger size, or co especially with conferences and conventions of, uh, you know, you start dealing with 500 plus people. When we're talking about events of the future, there's uh, virtual reality, augmented reality, how that's going to affect them. One of the things that's being done now, and I know FMAV, uh, which is a Canadian uh, audiovisual company, is already doing it where um, with VR, where they will completely uh, do a rendering of your event within that ballroom that it's going to happen, and they will they will send you out goggles that you put on, and you can actually put them on, and you can actually see what your event's going to look like. Oh my gosh! And so they're they're quickly advancing that technology, but it's all coming. So you know, virtual reality, augmented reality, who knows where that's going in the future? You know, especially on site. Maybe we'll be walking around with goggles on site and uh, you know, doing the uh, Pokemon style thing, winning points. You know, and, and we speak. Don't need to physically go to the event anymore. Well, and even that. Actually, you know what? That brings one thing. You know, I get asked. I get asked a lot on. Um, I get asked a lot about the uh, about the death of face-to-face uh, -face meetings. Is it going to happen based upon the virtual aspects? You know, the virtual. Well, not only virtual reality and augmented reality, but just just the virtual uh, presence of events. Because you can, you know, you can broadcast, uh, you know, your speakers or your whole conference. So is that going to hurt the face-to-face? -face? There's just some things that cannot be communicated through uh, um, through the web or, th or virtually, and that's that's. Uh, you know, your um, nonverbal, your chemistry, your like, I don't know, there's just something about face to face that it has to be there. It's just, you just don't form the same connections as you do, as you would through, um, or through a face to face connection. So, yeah, is it going to, are they going to replace? No. There's a whole program that's being offered now online through, I think it's through the uh, PCMA, which is the Professional Convention Managers Association. Um, but digital events, that's the future, but they're going to augment the face-to-face -face events, face-to-face -face will never go away. Yeah, one of, the, one of the cool things that's happening right now, and you're gonna start seeing this term, is called second screen technology. Um, second screen would be that device that's in front of you, whatever it might be, someone might have a computer, uh, uh, you know, a tablet or a, you know, a phone in front of them, but interacting, doing anything on that device, like, so that includes the event app, or what's really cool though, is there's companies like Slido, which are, actually provide an, a way for the speaker up front who can actually now re interact with the person in, in, the, uh, in the audience. So, I'll, you know, if I'm sitting in the audience, I can, through Slido, I can ask a question to the speaker up front. But some of the innovative ways I've seen it use though is where the speakers, I've seen, you know, two people co-presenting and one speaker's talking while he's talking, the other one's looking at the, looking at the screen and they're actually dynamically changing their presentation to adapt for that audience in the room. That's where everything's going with presentations. Wow. So you're gonna see you're gonna see the word dynamic presentations being that, that terminology being used a, a lot. You know the, the events industry is being driven by you know advancements in technology like crazy. Um, some of the things that you know we're seeing happen is uh, you know there's RF, the RFID technologies which are you know for tracking the people flow. Um, they're being put right into the name badges that you'd wear. Uh, very cool. Um, we're also seeing uh, just in the way that things are done, because we we're talking, you know, earlier about engagement, and you know, one of the cool things that they're uh, that uh, companies are innovating now are different ways of engaging people within things that are typically been boring. And ones like the question and answer sessions, um, you know, like Catchbox has a new product. Well, I shouldn't say it's a new product; it's been out for a few years, but they've got a product where uh, the microphone goes inside the actual box, this actual box, and uh, and then uh, you can toss it from one user to the next for them to ask their question to the speakers. 
When it comes to technology within the events industry, uh, I have to recommend uh, Corbin Ball. He's uh, he's based out of the U.S., but he's he's the uh, pretty much the guru of uh, event technology worldwide. He knows it all. He speaks. He travels internationally speaking, and he has a newsletter that he puts out once a month. And uh, he also speaks and publishes and everything else. But go follow him if you're interested in event technology. Mm -hmm.